grandparents? Can that be more country than your next act? You guys give it up for Montgomery Way! <laughs> I think you win, Jared. I'm from Houston. Hey, uh, remember when all it took to make you happy was a piece of paper and some crayons? Hey, we got any native born Texans here tonight? Woo! Woo! Uh, friends, I'm a seven generation Texan. That's right, proud parent of two eight generation Texans. It's true, I did marry down a little. I married a fifth generation Texan. God bless you. <laughs> but all will be well when we have our litter of ninth generation. And I don't know when you're along with them. I'm tripolar. I look country, think rock and roll. We're living in a hip hop world. <laughs> How many of y'all seen that movie Idiocracy? Yeah, I mean, it's set 500 years in the future talking about how stupid our civilization is going to be. I don't think that movie's accurate at all. I'm thinking more like 30 or 40 years. <laughs> I mean, friends with benefits? When I was younger, a friend with benefits was some guy who come over and worked on your car. Or had a fake ID and get you some beer. Or help you wahoo some beer. Not some girl had sex with you with no strings attached. Those were sluts. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love sluts. I Google sluts on my smartphone. There's some famous sluts out there. Pamela Anderson? I love me some Pamela Anderson. Paris Hilton, a little skinny. You know there's a slut out there you wouldn't think about? Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Nancy Reagan is famous for giving blowjobs in her youth, allegedly. I guess she didn't always just say no. You know where the sluttiest women are in the world? New Zealand. New Zealand women have sex with three times as many partners as the rest of women's world average. You hear quotes from New Zealand men saying things like they feel pressured and used. Got my ticket for New Zealand coming next week. <laughs> hey, we got any New Zealand girls here tonight? We got any sluts? Smells? <laughs> slutty moms, I'd like to fix up with my slutty friend who told me about that. <laughs> hey, I'd, I'd like to apologize if I offended any of y'all. Sluts have feelings too, you know. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm not calling my mom a slut, but my dad used to. I'm just, I'm, my dad didn't call my mom a slut. He called her a whore. You know what happens when you call your wife a slut and a whore? You get a divorce. <laughs> but for the record, I never called my mom a slut. I just tell people she's from New Zealand. <laughs> and if I ever meet any New Zealand girls, I just got two words to say. Prove it. <laughs> you don't like New Zealand girls? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, I, that sounds like marriage material to me. You know, um, uh, down there you hear these quotes about weed that's live like it's legal. And they tried to have a cannabis vending machine in New Zealand. And I know all about uh, commitment. I got a wife and a girlfriend. You think it's tough being committed to one woman, you try being committed to two. <laughs> y'all, I'm feeling a little guilty. I, I need to do a little repent. Um, would y'all please join me in a prayer? Um, it says in the Bible, if two people agree on something, then the Lord will make it happen. Uh, our Heavenly Father, or really whatever prayer towel you choose, um, we ask you to... Uh, Give us this day our daily allotment of a medicinal grade, high grade marijuana. <laughs> we ask you to help us forgive those who bogart against us as we hope to be forgiven for bogarting ourselves. We ask you to provide our loved ones with their uh, greatest health, wealth and to remember that the first wealth is health. In Jesus' name, or seriously, whoever you choose is a spirit title. Amen. And may all your smoke be blessed. And if a couple New Zealand girls to come my way, hallelujah. <laughs> and holding this mic so close to my mouth, and being in Austin, I've been inspired to make an announcement. Um, I've decided to come out. Uh, Mom, Dad, I'm a humor sexual. Don't blame me, my genes are geared for laughter. I'm genetically predispos predisposed for comedy. I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, thought I was going to say, okay, I'd be happy if I met some New Zealand girls. So. <laughs> and family Wayne, y'all, have a good one. Thank you, Ms. Matt. Matt's Montgomery.